I've often been asked about Erlen's syndrome as opposed to visual snow syndrome. Essentially, they're both talking about abnormalities of sensory processing. To some degree, the construct of visual snow syndrome or Erlen syndrome is artificial. What it does is take out a number of symptoms in a particular patient group and call that a disorder. I think the underlying abnormality is an abnormality of the way the brain processes sensory information and then produces responses. Uh, it can be a little confusing to consider one versus the other, but visual snow syndrome is in fact a common manifestation because the visual system is after all responsible for more than 50% of sensory input. So manifestations in that system are always going to be common, confusing, and often not always this, quite the same. So we see a lot of patients with visual snow syndrome who may otherwise have been called Erlen syndrome. And there are probably patients with Erlen syndrome who have visual snow. The reality is that a syndrome is not a disorder or a disease by itself, but it's a collection of symptoms that go together. So they, they, they may be very well, very closely related. Uh, they're not quite the same thing because by definition, visual snow syndrome has a set number of symptoms that, it, uh, that, that go to make up the diagnosis.